Hi guys, I'm Darshan, 10th graduated in RNS Vidyaniketan Modeshwar and currently studying is Data PU College. Today I'll explain about the binomial theorem, the sum of the basic concepts of the binomial theorem. The binomial means the term which contains two variables such as x plus y, a plus b, so on, etc. In this video, I'll explain about some of the binomial identities that are x plus y whole square x plus y to the power whole cube and so on till x plus y whole to the power n how they came and what are the general trends in these identities in these identities the binomial theorem was given by lord pascal and the final touch to this theorem was given by newton the but the whole credit goes to lord pascal who gave us this theorem We have identities like x plus y to the power 1 is equals to x plus y. x plus y to the power 2 is equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square. And again we have the formula that x plus y to the power whole cube is equals to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3y square x plus y cube. Also, we have x plus y to the power 0, which is equals to 1. This is given by a to the power 0 is equals to 1, which reminds us the exponents and powers. Exponents and powers that are, these are the formulas that we have from exponents and powers. The proof of a to the power 0 is equals to 1 is given below. Coming back to our concept, with the help of these two identities, I'll explain about the general trends in the first identity. <clears throat> in the first identity, x plus y to the power whole square, the x power goes on decreases while the y power goes on increases. Similarly, in the second identity, the x power goes on decreases and the y power goes on increases. And, and the about the coefficients of these terms, I'll explain in the last two, one to two minutes. These are uh, these two are the trends. Again, uh, there is a trend in these two in the in these identities that are the number of terms in these identities are uh, one plus the power of that identity. Means in the x plus y whole square, the terms in these identities are three. That is power plus one th term. One th term we have with the help of these trends. Uh, we can have the general formula and the next identity. The next identity is x plus y whole to the power 4. With the help of these trends, the first trend is the x power goes on decreases x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 y to the power 1 plus x to the power 2 y to the power 2 plus x to the power 3 y plus y to the power 4. <coughs> If we see here, uh, the x power goes on decreases while the y power goes on increases, and we have also an identity. We are sorry, ident not identity. The trend. We have found another trend here that the sum of the powers of the x and y is equals to the power of the uh, <coughs> power of the identity is equals to the power of the identity, and the number of terms in this is again 5 4 plus 1 5 1 2 3 4 5 this holds good for the all the three trends i have said again we coming to the general formula x plus y whole to the power n we have x to the power n plus x to the power n minus 1 y to the power n plus sorry 1 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 plus so on till plus x to the power n minus n y to the power n here, uh, this general for general form uh, follows all the trends that I have said earlier that the x power goes on decreases uh, here it follows that and the y power goes on increases uh, here it also follows that and the number of terms is n plus 1 and again uh, the, again the sum of the x and uh, powers of x and y is the power of that identity if you look at the first term uh, n minus 1 plus 1 we get n n minus 2 plus 2 we get again n now about the coefficients of these identities 
the pascal has given a triangle named as the pascal's triangle this is the pascal's triangle if we check the correctness of triangle with the identities it holds good for all this for coefficient one is uh, for the identity with the power zero that power identity with power zero and again this is for one this is for two and this is for three uh, if we check uh, for two it is one two one here it is one two one and uh, here if we check for the power we identity with power three it is one three three one it is one three three one now i'll uh, <coughs> have the property i'll have the identity this is how the pascal triangle is formed one 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 adding both these we get two adding both these we get three this three this four this six this second four this again five this is ten this is ten this again five this again six this is again 15 this is 20 this is 15 and again this is 5 this is the pascal's triangle coming back to our concept coefficients uh, with the help of pascal's triangle it is 1 4 6 4 1 it holds good for all the identities this was basic uh, which i thought of. in the higher classes we will study about this in the with the help of uh, combinations which will help us to find the coefficients of the general term the coefficient of the general term is given with the help of uh, the help of combinations here i will not explain more about the combinations because uh, you will learn about it in higher classes but i will explain about its formula here n c r which is equals to n factorial divided by r factorial <coughs> into n minus r factorial here uh, this sign this sign indicates the factorial where n is number of particles or substances available for the combinations and r number of combinations that can be made with the help of that particles or substances factorial means the product of its uh, previous number and itself products of previous number product of its previous number and itself for example 2 factorial is equal to 2 into 1, 3 factorial is equal to 3 into 2 into 1 and similarly 4 factorial is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and so on it goes on. So with the help of combination Pascal has given the general binomial theorem that is x plus uh, y to the power n is equals to nc0 x to the power n plus nc1 x to the power n minus 1 y to the power 1 plus nc2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 so on till nc n x to the power n minus n y to the power n it follows all the trends uh, there which trends uh, the trends are uh, n n power go x power goes on decreases uh, while the y power goes on increases and again the trend uh, is the sum of the x and y is equals to the power of identity that is uh, n minus 1 plus 1 we get n n minus 2 y2 we get again n and the number of terms in this is also the n plus 1th term we have lastly this is the general term which pascal has given in the binomial theorem again if you continue with the concepts so we get the general term t r plus 1 is equals to n c r a to the power n minus r b to the power r and again the middle term we get if the power if the identity power n is even we have single middle term that is n by 2 plus 1th term if the if the identity if the identity has the odd power we have two middle terms that is n plus 1 by 2th term and n plus 1 by 2th plus 1th term. Don't think about the combinations and the general term because you will learn in the higher classes. Just for the memory or glance purpose I had said the important here is here is the Pascal triangle and the and the, how the uh, trends uh, are in the identities i hope you learned uh, the information which i had provided i hope that you have learned about the some of the vc concepts about bino binomial theorem thanks for watching um, be safe wear mask when going out